Eight Man Sketch Pad Podcast. We back. The quiet Store. You know what I'm saying? Look, hey man, we're gonna talk about the Brick Girl. You know what I'm saying? And we'll be back. Who raised you? Oh my god, this shit is so hard. Oh my god. Oh my god. That last bar was crazy. Oh my god. Uh, children are too young to make those type of choices for themselves. You know, that's why they have parents. Oh, eat each other. What? Yo, I can't, can't understand it neither. Hey man, look, Sketchpad, we back. So look, this is the brick girl. Um, she got hit in the head with a brick. She said, allegedly. So we're gonna watch the video and come back and discuss. Rent me for his first interview. This was a well thought of plan. A diabolical plan. Olin Douglas is a father, son, and small business owner. But in September, allegations made by 33-year-old Rhoda Osman nearly put it all at risk. It caused people who I thought really knew me to kind of betray me. Douglas says he met her at a club near the Galleria as she wore a mask that only revealed her eyes. He invited her to an after party. It's as if she was trying to get in some type of conflict but says she was aggressive and very intoxicated. They ended up in a car with friends. She physically didn't start touching me until I asked her to leave. So you gotta get out. Outside the car, Houston police say surveillance video then showed Osman slapping him in the face before he hit her back with what appears to be a plastic water bottle in hand. You should never hit a woman in general, but I didn't wanna hit her actually, it was like, she hit me and I just reacted. According to court documents, the footage didn't match what Osman told police, that a male Uber driver threw a brick at her and tried to kidnap her, that she did her own investigation and was told that Douglas was the one who assaulted her. She's now charged with theft because prosecutors say she made it up and tried to profit from this GoFundMe that raised more than $42,000. It's been a divide between, you know, black men, black women, and, and it's been, it's, it's, it, it's really evil what she did. If police didn't have this surveillance video, this evidence that basically clears you, what kind of situation do you think you would be in? I would be that guy that hit a girl with a brick. I'm black. I'm surprised I didn't get arrested in 30 seconds from this going out. Douglas says he's received death threats from complete strangers. She's just manipulating people using their pain. And that is should be the true crime here. He hopes people online will be more conscious. The internet is the internet. It's not real life all the time. To Houston Police Headquarters today, we got alerted earlier today um, that Miss Osmond, that Brick Lady, was planning to surrender and turn herself in because she's wanted for theft in Harris County. Uh, we were re uh, contacted by the New Black Panther Nation and Quanell X because uh, he was contacted by her for help and to arrange the surrender. So it was our understanding that that was supposed to happen at 3:45 today. You can see right now it's that time has passed and. As we arrived here at Houston Police Headquarters today, we got another alert that Miss Osman, Brick Lady, is a no-show. She decided to not surrender. I spoke with Candace Matthews, part of the New Black Panther uh, uh, Nation, and she told me that they had an agreed meeting location today. They were supposed to be uh, meeting with Brick Lady and then bringing her here for the surrender at Houston Police Headquarters, but they say she didn't show up, she didn't provide an action, and Candace Matthews tells us that this is really the first time that something like this has happened. Uh, people reach out to them often. You know, we are usually aware when they've been contacted and, and sometimes, you know, they, they do arrange for surrenders and then tell the media and provide comments uh, in person. So we were expecting exactly that to happen here at HPD today. But again, a little bit weird. Uh, something changed. We don't know what changed. And so now, uh, 
Brick Lady remains on the run. Uh, she appears to have gone private on Instagram. We have not been able to successfully reach her. Woman known as Brick Lady charged in Houston after being accused of making the whole thing up, raising 42000 So nobody read the article though, huh? No, Lee, we read it. But you about to prove that either you didn't read it or you're not mentally capable of understanding what you read. I sincerely hope you just didn't read the fucking thing. But if you want to embarrass yourself, go ahead. Actually, when are you going to apologize because that little helper was scamming? I told you she was scamming. She was lying. When are you going to apologize? The apology better be as loud as the support for her too. Lee, nobody on this platform expects you to apologize. Bro, if you apologized for everything you got wrong, that would be all your content. I mean, legitimately, your whole timeline would be you making a video claiming some stupid shit and then having to apologize because you were completely wrong. Nobody's expecting you to take the L here. No, what we're all expecting is you to act like you weren't wrong and then probably turn it into some racial shit. State the obvious. A lot of y'all don't have as much hope and legitimacy into the system or the legal process until it's about disproving support of a black woman. And there it is. You wanted to make sure you put it out there right away. That anybody calling out this lady for making this shit up or anybody calling you out for your blind support of her bullshit is only doing it because it's a black woman. I'd like to say I expected more from you, but I didn't. But go on, continue with your bullshit. The article proves that she was assaulted, but that she did not give the correct details about how it happened. No, that's certainly not what the article proves. See, what you actually did was you skipped over the first couple paragraphs of the article, where it pointed out that after a verbal altercation, she repeatedly hit him in the face with an unknown object. He defended himself with that water bottle. That's not assault. That man is not guilty of assault. That man won't even be charged with assault. Because if somebody is repeatedly hitting you in the face, and let's not bullshit, this isn't a case of some little girl hitting some big dude. This girl is big as fuck and was hitting this dude in the face with something repeatedly. He defended himself by smacking her ass with the water bottle. That's not assault, Lee. And you know that, dude. All right, man. Look, man. This is a doozy here, man. This is a doozy. Listen, um, this goes back to our other episode where we was talking about Brick Girl, and we said she got what she deserved then. You know what I'm saying? Come to find out, they got her on camera. She's been lying the whole time. But see, this is the problem that I have, is you actually got people who are online defending her and saying that, well, Jonathan Majors... Y'all defended him, so why we can't defend her? Because Jonathan Majors wasn't lying. This girl made up a whole story, told the prosecutor or the, or the, or the police officers, whoever she talked to, that it was an Uber driver who hit her in the face with a brick. Hit her in the face with a brick. So this guy, the one with the long dreads, he gets on here and he says, well, she was assaulted. She just didn't tell the whole story. That's lying. How you? How do you even defend that? How do you defend that? That got to be the, the stupidest shit that I ever heard. She just didn't tell the whole truth. She was assaulted, but she just didn't tell the truth. So let me get, you're going to skip over the whole part that where she was the one who started it, right? You're going to skip that part. You know what I'm saying? It's like me shooting somebody. And, and, and actually, I shot them and then they shot me. And I say, he shot me. It's damn, it's messed up. Funeral man got shot. But did funeral man tell y'all that he shot the guy first? No. <laughs> so this whole situation to me, brings a black cloud over black women's head even more. Because a good portion of black women in the United States are allergic to the word accountability. And I'm talking about black women right now because this is a black woman. So we're talking about black women right now. Mm -hmm. Not all black women, just ones like her. What bothers me is nobody wants to call out the bullshit. They just want to pay, just pivot to something else or put it on something else. They want to make everybody else to be 
the reason why this woman is a victim. Oh, it has to be the system or patriarchy or the reason why is because men are bad people or this. They never could just say, you know what? She was wrong. She shouldn't have did that. So she got banned from from uh from the platform. Oh, what's that? Uh what's the John uh not Cash App. The the platform that they give money to. She got banned from that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? GoFundMe. Come she got go banned fund- from GoFundMe. She can't use it and they gave everybody the money back. So people that got their money back, are you asking yourself? Well, why did you give me my money back? This woman was a victim. But they saying, no, she's not a victim because she's been lying the whole time. And now she's on the run from the police. If she was a victim, why is she on the run? She got a warrant for what? Because she stole money. And this ain't the first time she did this. So when are we going to take some accountability here? I don't get it. But go ahead. <sighs> Man, this was a doozy. Listen, I stand on what I said about this chick before. You know what I'm saying? Because she literally proved all our theories correct. She proved everything that all our theories correct. What we saying now, we said that months ago when we put out the first video on this chick. Now... All she did was just confirm that she's a two-timing, conniving female. You know what I'm saying? She's a two-timing, conniving female. You know what I mean? She's so thirsty that she had to make up this whole story to get help on a GoFundMe. And people, man, look, some people are just dodos, man. Like, you fall for a banana in the tailpipe the whole entire time. Like, really? Really? The GoFundMe? The sob story? Or whatever? Listen, man. Some people got to do their research before they start sending money and donating money to people. You got to do your research. You got to look up stuff. You got to see what who this person really is. You know what I'm saying? Now she on the run. She on the run. She's on the run. Where is she going to go? You got a noticeable face. Somebody's going to catch you sooner or later. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Somebody's mm-hmm. going to catch you. Ain't like ain't like you the sharpest knife in the drawer because you definitely not. Because if you was, we wouldn't even be having this discussion right now. You would have got away with a, like a thief in the night with all that GoFundMe money and nobody would have said a damn thing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So we already know you ain't the sharpest knife. You one of them dull plastic butter knives that can barely cut bread. That's what you are. Mm-hmm. You want them dull knives. You know what I'm saying? Barely sharp. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you in the hospital, you in the hospital complaining about getting hit with a brick. Knowing damn well that was like some sort of I think that was like a cyst or something. She had some sort of like infection or she she got bit or something something along those lines happened with her. She did not get hit with a brick. You get hit with a brick, yo. She had no. Like, first of all, what type of brick just lumps your head and not splits you open? You That's wasn't different. split open. You was not bleeding. You was not bleeding. And if you was, you got a hell of a doctor because he mm-hmm. must have cleaned you up real quick. You know what I'm saying? Before you got on that camera, what yep. kind of a brick you, brick you get hit where you don't get split open? That's one thing. Because where he hit you at, if he hit you there, you were supposed to get split right down there. Just like that. Because the whole swelling was right here. You were supposed to get split and have swelling. You ain't had neither, which, which leads us to know that it was something different. You ain't really get hit. Yeah. And he did you justice because he hit you with a water bottle. Water bottles ain't that hard unless they filled up to the brim. So he did you justice. You know what I'm saying? You lucky you ain't come across no guy that had that had the hands of Big Show and slap you. Mm-hmm. Then you would have been satisfied then. 
You'd have been satisfied then. You would have cried out, oh, I can't believe he hit me. You got to stop doing that. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. got to stop doing that, man. But, hey, man, like I said, man, she got what she deserved. I hope they catch her and put her under the jail. Straight like that. Mm -hmm. Put her under it's the jail. It's funny you say that because you ain't the first person that said that. Somebody else said that, too. Put her under the jail? Yeah. That's yeah, she deserves it. <coughs> <Somebody else. coughs> Excuse me. I mean... I'm sick and tired of these conniving females, man. I'm sick and tired of it, man. I mean, it's gotten to the point, man, where... People just need to take accountability and people need to stop defending this type of behavior. You know what this type of behavior is? When people defend people like her, it's the same thing when people defend criminals, like uh, thugs, like niggas who don't care and just like, oh, whoa, well, you got to understand he came from a troubled background. Like, no, no, I don't fall for none of that no more because you know right from wrong now. Whether you came from a troubled background or not, you know doing something to somebody Huey is wrong. You know that. So yeah. But yeah, man. Sketch pad. You know what it is. See y'all. Peace. Bye.